So we started out talking to Luke Butkus. Now we've got his boss right here. So uh, what's, what's the deal with this offseason? What are the Bears, everyone's discussing whether it's going to be a QB, wide receiver, another offensive line guy. What are you most looking forward to adding to this team in the offseason? Well, first of all, we're looking to, you know, to improve, as we always are. And, um, you know, me personally, always, you know, looking for a receiver. Um, Got to get more depth in the offensive line. And just looking at really at all positions, trying to get better. So as far as wide receiver position goes, Devin Hester obviously took a drop off as far as his return game. But as a first-year receiver and as a guy that a lot of other teams, including his co co um, college team, said he wasn't going to do much as a wide receiver, I think he had a pretty decent year. And everyone on the team seems to be trying to support to the media and the fans that he did an outstanding job for someone in his first year. Yeah, he did. He had a real good year. And he got better and better as the season went on. Late in the year, I'd say the last six weeks, he really, really played like a number one receiver. It, it, he started playing the game a lot faster. I think the game slowed down for him. That enabled him to play faster. So, um, you know, we're excited about what he's going to do. If he continues to make that progress, continues to work at it like he did at the end of the year, he can be, uh, he can be a great receiver. He's got all the skills necessary. And the big difference between, say, Rex and Kyle is consistency, but Rex has the arm. Do you think that with more work and more timing between the two of them, those deep passes that we only really get anything out of if there's a PI are going to actually become something where they can time it correctly together? It's not so much about Kyle not having the arm, but the timing? No question. Kyle's got a great arm. It's not a matter of having the arm. It's just a matter of connecting on some of those. Um, and that's a matter of getting an off season. You know, Kyle didn't go into the off season as a number one quarterback. He, got, he didn't get all the reps with the number ones. So it's a matter of him getting all that and getting the timing and, and hitting a couple of them and then, and then getting that feeling and getting that confidence and doing it. There's no question he can do it. I've seen him do it, and there's no doubt in my mind he will do it. So talk to me a little bit about this event. I know the Bears would love to have a guy like Butkus on their team now. So what does it mean to get together with some of the guys that show up here and to honor them in Chicago this year? Oh, I, th I think it's great. I mean, you know, Dick Butkus, that name speaks for itself. You know, enough said when you mention that name. And, you know, to, to get involved in something like this for the Bear organization and for all of us is you know, something special. And to honor the top linebackers in the country and uh, be named after someone like that, it's got to be an honor for them, I know. And it's just a, a great, great event. Too bad it's not a Bears player, huh? Pardon me? Too bad uh, DeMarcus Ware doesn't play for the Bears like to get a Bears honored the first yeah, year back in Chicago. He's a pretty good player. So he's pretty all right. We, we wouldn't mind having him. He's a pretty good player. All right. Well, good luck with the offseason, and hopefully next year will be another success for the Bears. Good, thank you.